The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 618, in effect until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, for the following counties in the listening area, in Arkansas, Benton, Carroll, Crawford, Franklin, Madison, Sebastian and Washington. In Missouri, Barry and McDonald. In Oklahoma, Adair, Cherokee, Craig, Delaware, Haskell, Latimer, LaFleur, McIntosh, Mays, Muskogee, Nowada, Ottawa, Pittsburgh, Pushmataha, Rogers, Sequoia and Wagoner. Tornadoes. Hail up to golf ball size and wind gusts up to 65 miles an hour will be possible in and close to the watch area. Average storm movement is expected to be to the east at 30 miles an hour. Remember, a tornado watch means conditions are favorable for severe weather, including tornadoes in and close to the watch area. Persons in these areas should be alert for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Flooding caused by excess. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Marion County in North Central Arkansas, West Central Fulton County in North Central Arkansas, Baxter County in North Central Arkansas, until 8.15 p.m. at 7.25 p.m. A severe thunderstorm was located near Price Place, or 13 miles north of Bull Shoals, moving southeast at 35 miles per hour. Hazard. 70 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Mountain Home, Bull Shoals, Gasville, Lakeview in Baxter County, North Fork, Salesville, Briarcliff, Arcawana, North Fork Dam, Diamond Bay, Ozark Regional Airport, Gamalia Landing, Ozark Isle, Fawn Park, Bull Shoals State Park, Ship, Heron, Colfax, Price Place, Cotter. Rock. The temp... Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 621, effective until 3 a.m. Thursday. This watch includes the following counties in Arkansas, Cleburne, Conway, Faulkner, Lone Oak, Perry, Pope, P, O, P, E, Prairie, Pulaski, Celine, Van Buren, White and Yell. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Winds 5 to 10 miles an hour in the morning shifting to the north. National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 621, effective until 3 a.m. Thursday. This watch includes the following counties in Arkansas, Cleburne, Independence, Jackson, Lone Oak, Monroe, Prairie, White, and Woodruff. Remember, 
A tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. near the Arkansas border. The National Weather Service in Tulsa has issued a flash flood warning for Carroll County in northwestern Arkansas, northwestern Madison County in northwestern Arkansas, until 11.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.14 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 0.5 and 1 inch of rain has fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Expected hazards include flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. The following impacts are expected, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Berryville, Eureka Springs, Green Forest, Beaver, Urbanette, Grandview, Rule, Rudd, Forum, Clifty, Osage, Carrollton, Cadnall, Rockhouse, 
McAlpin, Pleasant Ridge, Connor, Oak Hill, Coyne, Denver, turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. In hilly terrain there are hundreds of low water crossings which are potentially dangerous in heavy rain. Do not attempt to cross flooded roads. Find an alternate route. Miles 
per hour in gusts and colder skies hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is possible. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Pocahontas, Walnut Ridge, High Beach, Black Rock, Lake Charles State Park, Inboden, Ravenden, Reno, College City, Portia, Mimer, Stickers, Strawberry, Lynn, Bokeen, Alicia, Ravenden Springs, Midtown, Amityville, Dalton. Be conscious of night when it is hot. and may 
responding to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. A tornado watch remains in effect until 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time for Eastern Arkansas and Southeastern Missouri. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 10.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Arkansas, Craighead, Green and Poinsett, and Dunklin, Missouri. Ethelville, the low this morning was 72, and the high today was 81. The 24-hour precipitation was 0.16 inches. At Mount Ida, the low this morning was 71, and the high today was 91. At Monticello, the low this morning was 73, and the high today was 95. At the Mountain Home Airport, the low this morning was 69, and the high today was 77. The 24-hour precipitation was 1.03 inches. And at the Newport Airport, the low this morning was 69, and the high today was 74. The 24-hour precipitation was 1.34 inches. Another high temperatures around the state today included 85 at Fort Smith, 85 at Fayetteville, 76 at Jonesboro, 99 at Texarkana, 96 at El Dorado, 80 at West Memphis, and 96 at the Queen. Here are the latest weather conditions at 9 p.m. at Pine Bluff. Skies were clear. The temperature was 83 degrees, the dew point 77, and the relative humidity 82%. The wind was southeast at 6 miles an hour. The barometer stood at 29.76 inches and was falling. Passes, as well as other poor drainage and low line.
Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Van Buren County in North Central Arkansas, Northwestern Cleburne County in North Central Arkansas, until 1 a.m. At 12.20 a.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Dabney, or 16 miles west of Clinton, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour in gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Clinton, Fairfield Bay, Shirley, Higdon, Fairfield Bay Marina, Woolham, Sugarloaf Recreation Area, Dabney, Choctaw, Oled, Rupert, Chimes, South Fork Recreation Area, Botkinburg, Crabtree, Choctaw Recreation Area, Morganton, Culpeper, Scotland. Here are the latest weather conditions at midnight at Little Rock. Skies were cloudy. The temperature was... The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Southeastern Van Buren County in North Central Arkansas, Cleburne County in North Central Arkansas, Northwestern White County in Central Arkansas, until 1.30 a.m. At 12.51 a.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Fairbanks, or 8 miles south of Fairfield Bay, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour in gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Heber Springs, Clinton, Fairfield Bay, Greers Ferry, Quitman, Pangburn, Rosebud, Shirley, Higdon, Fairfield Bay Marina, Crosby, Fairbanks, Sugarloaf Recreation Area, Choctaw, Latona, B Branch, Wilburn, Ida, Brownsville, Sidon, Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northwestern Woodland County in eastern Arkansas, Southwestern Jackson County in eastern Arkansas, Southeastern Cleburne County in North Central Arkansas, Central White County in Central Arkansas until 2.15 a.m. At 1.22 a.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Pemberton, or 8 miles southeast of Heber Springs, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour in gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Searcy, Heber Springs, Augusta, Baldna, Jasonia, Kansas, Pangburn, Russell, Tupelo, Crossy, Hurricane Lake Wildlife Management Area, Seth Ross, Bradford, Popona, Weldon, Albion, Hickory Flat, Chilkner, Wilburn, Dewey. Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Van Buren County in north central Arkansas, Cleburne County in north central Arkansas, northeastern Faulkner County in central Arkansas, northwestern White County in central Arkansas, until 2.45 a.m. At 2 a.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Fairbanks, or 10 miles south of Fairfield Bay, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard. 
60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Heber Springs, Fairfield Bay, Greers Ferry, Quitman, Pangburn, Rosebud, Damascus, Higdon, Fairfield Bay Marina, Crosby, Fairbanks, Sugarloaf Recreation Area, Latona, B Branch, Wilburn, Sidon, Hopewell in Cleburne County, Pearson, Narrows Marina, Tickens in White County. <coughs>
Hawk has issued a flash flood warning for southeastern Jackson County in eastern Arkansas until 7.25 a.m. At 4.58 a.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 1 and 3 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Newport, Tuckerman, Diaz, Grubbs, Jacksonport, Algoa, McFadden, Campbell Station, Beattyville, Amagon, Weldon, Falch, Blackville, Irwin, Siegel, Chofner, and Max. Turn around. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Blackville, Irwin, Stiegel, Schofner, and Max. Turn around. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a flash flood warning for northeastern Jackson County in eastern Arkansas, central Independence County in north central Arkansas, southwestern Izzard County in north central Arkansas, east central Searcy County in north central Arkansas, Stone County in north central Arkansas until 10 a.m. at 7 a.m. Doppler radar and automated ring gauges indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 3 and 6 inches of rain have fallen. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar and automated gauges. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Batesville, Newport, Mountain View, Marshall, Tuckerman, Diaz, Newark, Cushman, Grubbs, Oil Trough, Jacksonport, McNeese, Moorfield, Algoa, Croker, Southside and Independence County, Solano, Purple, Blanchard Springs, Campground, and Fola. In the Leaferine, there are hundreds of low water crossings which are potentially dangerous in heavy rain. Do not attempt to cross flooded roads. Find an alternate route. Flooding is occurring or is imminent. It is important to know where you are relative to streams, rivers, or creeks which can become killers in heavy rains. Campers and hikers should avoid streams or creeks.